Okay, in the previous lesson, we've looked at how changes in the general price level affect the demand of goods and services in the economy. Notice, however, that these changes essentially involve a movement along the AD curve. So what factors cause the entire AD curve to shift? And when the AD curve shifts, the quantity of goods and services demanded at every price level changes. And the factors that cause these shifts are thus, cost, uh, are thus called non-price factors, because their effects are not dependent on the general price level or GPL. These factors can be grouped into three main sets. The first one is changes in expectations. The second, changes in government policies. And the third, changes in the world economy. So firstly, let's talk about changes in expectations. So let's say I've somehow managed to peer into the future with the help of a friendly passing fortune teller. And much to my surprise, I've see, I see that I've managed to clinch that promotion I wanted and the huge pay rise that comes with it. Even more delightfully, I see that the shares that I've just bought have doubled in value and the mall that just built beside my house has caused it to increase dramatically in price. So believing my wealth and income will increase in the future, I naturally feel much more financially secure in the present moment. So thus, I opt to buy that car I was looking at. Now, assuming this, passion for, uh, this passing fortune teller managed to meet most of the population as well, which really isn't hard to believe since we live in a world where people can see into the future, consumption in the entire economy increases dramatically in the present moment. Now, being able to predict the future obviously isn't a prerequisite for this to happen. People just need to believe that they can. In other words, as long as there is optimism in the economy, households are more likely to increase present consumption, which leads to a rightward shift, rightward shift in the AD curve as shown. Now, this can also happen if people expect inflation to increase in the future, which causes goods and services to be more expensive, and households prefer to purchase more goods now before the price increases. And for more, for more information on the other two sets of factors, you can refer to subsequent lectures.